so cool, but I can't ever stop. Baby, pain over rules. Why you so bright, but I stay so blue? Stay so blue. I'm It's your boy Bozzer here, and today I'm bringing you part two of the editing montage, blah 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 blah. So this time, guys, we are doing the cinematics. Uh, as you can probably tell in this video, I haven't got my face cam on, and this is down to my face cam being at 30 FPS and my game catch recorder being at 60, and I don't want them to mess up the recording basically. Uh, but anyway guys, so you want to come into a custom games, uh, make sure you are online multiplayer, uh, not playing as local play, or else you won't be able to do this. First of all, you want to go into settings, you want to go onto the map you need. I remember it being on Nuketown, so I've gone to that, I've gone onto Hardcore, Free For All, just so you don't get the map. I think you can do any kind of game mode, just don't do any like, objective game modes like uh, Hardpoint or Domination or search and destroy because you'll end up having the little icon on the side of the screen and you just don't want that. So yeah, you got the map, uh, it goes to the rules. If you just put the time on unlimited, score unlimited and the rest I wouldn't bother with. Just leave it at that. Uh, you don't want any bots and that's basically it. So let's get into this game and I will show you guys how to basically create a cinematic. All right, so before we select a character, Basically, you want to go onto your clip and find out who is the person that died in the um, clip at the end. Mine is Ruin, so I'm going to pick him and I'm just going to have a default class on. Alright, so next up guys, once you have uh, spawned in, you want to come to the spot where the guy, well, where you basically shoot the dude. So, I believe it was around here where I jump shot at him. So, I'm just going to quickly go on here and basically change character and if we go over now as you can see my character is now dead there so that's basically it guys for custom games it, you can also get like another player in somebody to help you you got you there uh, and you just snipe them and then you got the death cinematic of them actually falling to the ground the only problem with that is you'll end up having the player here and you'll have like a red bar above its head and they just don't look as smooth on this game uh, but yeah so we're just gonna quickly go back out of this and I'll show you guys how to basically make a death cinematic okay so once you're backed out of everything you want to come on to this menu part and click on theater uh, next up you want to actually go on to the game that you just played so it should be in your recents so this one was the Nuketown just open it up uh, the film will load and we'll get straight into it Okay, so as you can tell, my player is about to come over here. Uh, me just talking a lot of rubbish. I change my specialist around about now. So if we pause this real quick, um, just go out into free. If you don't know how to do that, just press uh, triangle. And as you can see here, you can go back. Let's fast forward it. Let's show that. Whoa, what the hell? My character is a completely different. Whoa. That was weird. That shouldn't happen for you guys, I hope. But it's back to normal now, so there's no worry. I'm just gonna pause it around about there, okay. So as he's fallen to the ground there. So you have to be quite quick at um, pausing that. But once you got that, it's all lovely jubbly. So you can either do it like freehand, where you just roam around him like this. It's quite smooth, but uh, another way of doing this is if you press circle to change and click on director you can then put cameras down so we're gonna have to rewind that back characters all weird again hopefully should go back to normal lovely let's go really slowly any second now hopefully I don't want to go too fast there you go okay pause that right there all right so what you want to do is you want to get to the spot where you want the cinematic to happen so you want to oh, just mess that up keep forgetting how to go up on this camera let's just delete this real quick uh, circle boom okay so to go up and down with the camera is the bumpers so let's play this. Da, 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 da. 
Go into the spot. There's one about here. Slow down. Play it. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So I'm thinking that we just quickly turn down our sensitivity just because it's a little bit too high for this. Just makes it a little bit easier. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe have... Um, I'm thinking maybe having some text in this. I'm not sure. Maybe it's too much. Maybe we just want a death cinematic. Okay. So we're just going to have it so... Starts about here. And then it plays. And pauses around about there. Why is his head messed up? It's kind of gone into his chin. Okay, beautiful. And it's going from here. We kind of want to pan it around here. Like there. And then stop it there. Okay, nice. And then we're just going to shoot it off like that. Okay, lovely jobly. So we're going to have to rewind that. Uh, press X to play. Hold down it to go into the camera. Uh, we're just going to fast forward it as you can see the timeline at the bottom um, is where all the good stuff happens. So, oh, that bit wrong there. So, it's going to get all the way close to where it is. Pause it, and we're just going to have to take off. Hopefully, it'll come up. I'm just going in slow mo now, guys. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm hiding this, so it's best to hide it just before, um, as mine kind of like goes all weird. But okay, so around about here, I'm just going to play it normally until it gets to the pause. Okay, so I've just paused it there. So now I want to hold down the uh, the uh, left trigger just to slow it down to its slower basically so in a second boom there you go it might look really really slow now but we'll speed it up in post don't worry so you got that and then it zooms off okay beautiful so that will be recorded there now um, we can easily just end the thing now but uh, without further ado I'm gonna bring you guys now into After Effects and we'll start editing. Okay guys, so uh, welcome back. As you can see, my camera is now working. Um, yeah, I decided to sort out. Um, the OBS tends to do a little bit better than the Elgato, so I'm able to switch you guys. Um, but anyway guys, so I've just imported in the cinematic, cut it down in a comp, uh, similar to what we did on the last tutorial. So I've just cut it down to yeah, each the beginning and the end of it. Uh, what I'm going to do is now import it into. Oh, we don't want to move that. Okay, just put it uh, end uh, the end key. Just going to drag this up like that. Uh, begin. Okay. So we got our little shot here. Lovely, jubbly. I'm just checking it out. Okay. Lovely. Okay. So we want a death cinematic literally straight after. So let's listen to the beat. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to make some more keys. So I'm just going to hide everything gonna get rid of the sound and everything and if you guys remember you need to press the star icon on the right hand side where your numbers all are so if we play this maybe if we go down to here as you can see I'm just gonna delete these again uh, delete this marker delete this marker and basically we are gonna import marker here oh, not on the actual thing just kick off that 
Uh, one there. Uh, one around about there. Doesn't have to be perfect because we can sort it out after anyway. Alright, so we've got the beats in there. Let's just check it out real quick. Lovely. Uh, I'm just going to quickly add another beat here. Just to have a little bit more. Alright, let's go up to the top. Uh, everything's hidden. We can bring back this end one. And we want to play it straight after the beat. So we're just going to import the comp, which I've already made. Uh, basically, just cinematic one. And bring this above it. And as you can tell, it's a very, very long uh, comp, and we need to basically bring that down a little bit. Um, I believe, yep, and the last one we used Twixter. Sometimes I use Time Remap and also Twixter, or I just use one or the other. Um, in this case, uh, I don't know whether to use Twixter or Time Remap. I might show you guys Time Remap. Um, let's mix it up a little bit. Okay, so if you right click here and go over to Time, Enable Time Remap, as you'll get, uh, as you'll see, you'll get two uh, keys, one at the beginning, one at the end, and we want to basically get it all the way down to listen to the song again I want to know where we want it to actually end okay I've got my voice on that we don't want that though maybe this one I'm thinking this one or this one but we'll give it a go on this one hmm We'll go this one because then we'll add another cinematic after, which will be bringing into the next clip. So we've got this so far. I'm just going to put an end key there and a start key there. Terrible. I know. It looks absolutely dog. We all know that. All right. So I've added the time remap there. Kind of want to make each one have like its own beat, judder, whatever. Um, so I'm going to add in a twixter. Oh. Twixter. Twixter Pro, obviously. Love it. Okay. So we've got the Twixter Pro in here. We're going to have this at 59.94. As I know, that's what my Elgato records at. Uh, we are going to just basically copy this paste it beautifully there pressure you you again all right so now we have the beats that are already in there so we're going to put that one oh we want it at the beginning so we want to have that there let's click off so we're not on all three keyframes or all four we're going to put this one in the middle this one at the end as such. Let's play this real quick. It's all to do with basically just going in, messing a few things around. You, you can never be wrong with this, to be honest, unless you're obviously not playing the time remap in forward motion. And you're playing it in backwards, but sometimes that's quite a cool effect. Um, okay. So this might take me a while. I'm just going to go out of the um, video a second, come back, and then I'll show you. Okay, guys. So um, sorry about that. Um, so we're back in now. I currently have this. Um, this is basically what I was just messing around with for the past like five minutes. Uh, nothing too major, but uh, I didn't want to waste your guys time so it's nice smooth uh, what I basically did was I changed it up a little bit so 
kept it uh, I kept it with the timing map uh, there was one little problem which was this uh, and when I was doing the timing map it was coming up black here but it seems to be okay a little bit okay okay so as you can see there and then um, it kind of messes up here even with that all the way out goes just just goes to black so we didn't want that so I just brought the timing map out a little bit more so that's nothing major um, so with the Twixter I first of all got the first key on a hundred uh, as you can see over here it's the same process as this I just copied and pasted it in here I got this middle key which is at 50 which was here uh, and then I added a 200 key here on the uh, keyframe uh, or on the marker even uh, and then did another 50 and then I believe this one went up to the same so that one's on 445 and so is this one uh, if I quickly show you guys in the graph editor so it's like you got a it's like a curve into a small curve into a big curve so it's like a W um, and that's basically it uh, for the syncing that up uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my next shot in uh, I'll do it right now with you guys in uh, basically showing what I'm going to have in the next video and whatnot so that is how you sync up a cinematic and also how uh, also how to actually get the cinematic off Call of Duty for instance I know Apex and Fortnite are big and quite popular now um, I can possibly get some cinematics off that if you want me to show you guys how to do that uh, just leave a comment in the section below but it's it's fairly simple um, it's nice quick and easy it's, I think it's about a second two seconds it's literally nothing but then once you put it into the other um, cinematic it'll then add up to like four or five seconds and just make it look so much smoother instead of having clip after clip after clip it's always nice to break it up a little bit with a cinematic but I'm just going to quickly import the other clip now and see what we could possibly have uh, before that clip start. Uh, quickly before I input a new clip, I just want to listen to how the beats go and whether they'll sync in with like a four man again, a five man, a triple clap or whatever. So. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a a tiny little bit of a drop here um, so I could possibly put in a triple clap there uh, if I listen to this bit I'm going to stop the cinematic around about here um, see which beat I might stop it here then it brings it into the clip of him running or whatnot to have uh, like that bit there could be the first kill. I've got a clip that where I get a gravity slam to then a triple clap, uh, which is only recently, which I can definitely use. So that could be where the grav slam comes in, and there's a triple clap. So I'm going to quickly go and add that in now. Um, I believe it's this one, triple clap, obviously. Uh, open up the projects and drag this in. Uh, I did before uh, we started this video I added in a folder for clips and cinematics so just pop that into clips and we are going to bring this triple clap into here it's already cut out because I decided to cut it all up uh, just having that little bit in uh, so I don't need to put it into comp uh, into another composition uh, to edit it and bring it down so we're all good there I'm just going to put begin there so what we said was we were going to put it around about let's just hide that real quick 
Okay, so that is going to be where the grav sand goes in. So that'd be quite cool. So let's put a marker there. And let's view it. So where it starts, I reckon do about there. So see what this looks like. I'm just gonna uh, let's begin it about here where the cinematic will come in and be fine. Mm. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Maybe having the kill there would probably be a bit better. Let's have a look at that. Mm, maybe a little bit more. That's quite cool. Alright, we can do that. So it, when it drops, boom. Nice, nice. I'm happy with that. We've got the quick little cinematic in there. Um, quick little kill, even. And then... We're going to have to time a map or something to get that little triple in. But I think what I'm going to quickly do now off camera is do the process we've just done and basically get the cinematic of this dude running. So, yeah. All right. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you like this video and you want me to keep the series up, give the thumbs up, please. Um, leave a comment in the section below. And also, if you haven't seen the previous video to this, where I'm syncing up the the shot here, uh, when I say here, with this one here, the quad feet at the beginning, then if you go onto my playlist, there will be a editing montage playlist. Go on that, have that one, and then go on to this one. But anyway, guys, uh, it's good to see you guys again, and yeah. Peace. Put you on game, feeling so fire red in my face, so cool, but I can't ever stop. Maybe pain over rules. Why you so bright, but I stay so blue, stay so blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue.